Hi everyone, it's Leslie from Hungry Happy Crafts and today I have a really special card. Take a look at this. Ooh. This card incorporates some LEDs from Chibitronics and um, I'm going to be walking you through how I made this card today. It's a shake card and I'm using some Lawn Fawn stamps. I'm using this fox from the Joy to the Woods collection and I'm also using some of the silver birch trees from this collection too. So I'm stamping this with Tuxedo black ink from Memento onto some Nina Solar White cardstock and I'm going to be doing some very quick Copic colouring on these small images but they're going to be very small so I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing it but I will show you the colours. For the background of my shaker card I'm going to be using some distress inks um, to create sort of a purpley blue background. The LED that I'm using today is a blue colour so I wanted to bring in some wintry blues and purple tones. I'm using my mini blending tool to add some colour to some Tim Holtz Distress watercolour cardstock and then spraying over the top with some water and I'll set that aside to dry and move on to the next bit of my project. For the front of my card I'm going to be putting the little light in and I didn't want the light to show through the front panel just through the aperture. I don't think that this is actually necessary in hindsight but I put some black cardstock behind a panel of about a four inch piece of um, square card and then I ran that through the cuddle bug using my stitched circles die from Simon Says Stamp. With the circle that was in the inside I'm using some stitched border dies here to create some snowy mounds and um, I always turn over the circle again and see if I can get two little snowy mounds out of the one inside piece. So I'm holding that in place with some washi tape and then running it through the cuddle bug again. Back on to Foxy. I've sped up this video because it's very easy colouring and um, I am no expert. But I'm using some colours E33, Y38, YR07 and then E21 and E27 as well. And I've added the, the numbers to the top of the screen there so you can see them for yourself. For the trees, you won't see an awful lot of this, but I wanted to make them look a little bit like silver birch. So I'm using W1 and W3, but it looked a bit too grey, so to bring some warmth I added E21. And these come with coordinating dies, so I'm running these through the cuddle bug as well to cut out those elements. Okay, so now I have my fox, my trees, the snowy banks, and um, I'm going to now move on to creating the base of the card. I'm using a card blank, this is a square card blank, and I've folded two of them, but one of them I've trimmed about an eighth of an inch off the side. And I'm going to sandwich these two together like this, because there's going to be a lot of weight on the front of my card. And I find when I sandwich them together, it creates a bit more of a sturdy base. Let's trim down the distressing panel below and now I'm going to play while I rearrange some of my elements until I'm happy with what I've got. So I know that I want the purple to go on the very furthest back so I'm putting that on top of the front of the card and then this is the panel that will go over the top but I'm just using it as a placeholder just now, there's no glue on the back of that. And I'm tracing around the inside of the aperture with a pencil and this will help me position where the little snowy mounds will go and also figure out exactly where I want to put the little LED. I want it to go right behind my fox, so I'll put a mark here in the middle of my card and that's where I want the LED to go. Now the LEDs that I'm using are from Chibitronics. My friend Jennifer got me these. Thank you, Jen. And they come in this packet with, um, this one is multicolored. So there is blue, red, and yellow. 
and they're all tucked in here. Let me get one out for you. And they're a triangular shape and there's um, like a metal bit on the point and then on the flat bit as well. And it, they are self-adhesive. So I'm going to stick that down there and you need to use a battery to create the LED or to light it up. And I'm going to put my battery down here just where my finger is. I'm just going to mark that just now with a little bit of washi tape. Now to link the LED to the battery, you get some copper tape. I probably shouldn't have stuck the LED down quite so tightly until I've got the tape in place, but that's okay. I could lift it up slightly. And I'm running the tape down here to where the washi tape was for my placeholder. There it is. And here's the battery. It is a, a little nine volt battery and it's less than an inch wide, I think. Um, and one of the, or one side of the LED needs to touch the negative and the other side needs to touch the positive. So I need a way to loop this tape over the top of the battery. So I've stuck down a strip of scratch cardstock. I'm putting the tape over the top like this. And I'll fold it over the top of the battery. And let's put this back on. So the metal bits on the LED needs to touch the metal bits on the copper tip. And then whenever you connect it to the battery, it lights up. Hey presto, it's so cool. I think I played with this for about five minutes. <laughs> it's so much fun. So I decided that the, um, the light might diffuse a little bit more if I had some vellum. So I'm going to be putting vellum in between some of my layers of the trees and the snowy mounds. So I'm using a couple of glue dots to position the uh, furthest back snowy mound. And you might see there and might notice that I have adhered the top panel off the card with some washi tape at the top. And this allows me to lift the panel back up and down, but also position the, um, the outside area exactly where it needs to go. For some of the trees, I'm adding them to my project with some Tombow Mono Adhesive. And I'm making sure that I don't cover the LED. So now I'm putting the vellum on top, but the vellum square I had cut covered the battery and of course I need to expose it. So I chopped off the corner. And all along I can test that the connection can still be made by pressing down on that, that edge. So let's stick on the rest of these trees. And then the front section of my snow. And then my fox will go in the middle here. Now, because I want to do a shaker card, I'm putting a piece of acetate behind this front panel. And I thought I would add some snow to the acetate. This stamp came free with a magazine and it's just some little dots and I'm using some white stays on to stamp some snow onto the acetate and then also some onto the vellum behind the fox. To adhere my fox, I'm using some very thin foam squares. Now these are only one millimeter thick, so it'll lift the fox up a little so it doesn't cover the whole LED, um, but it doesn't create too much bulk in the inside of the shaker. Because it is a shaker card, I need to add some foam all the way around my aperture. In hindsight, I think I should have done it on the background panel because when we got to the stage where we were near the battery, it was a little bit difficult. Now, I noticed that for the battery, um, if I stacked up two of these foam circles, it was a little bit taller than the battery itself. And this meant that I could make a couple of little towers around the battery and stick the... Um, 
stick the copper paper bit onto this one here at the top left and it held the paper aloft higher than the battery but then when I pressed down on it it would light up the LED so it means it saves the battery but it and also makes it a functioning switch I'm just running my embossing tool in there to get rid of any adhesive that may be on the back of the card and then I'm adding some of these white in and the blue sprinkles or confetti and that's from Lucy cards by Lucy that's where I got those so my shaker element is complete and it lights up when I press the button but I wanted to complete the design of the card I forgot to add some foam in the corner so I tucked in some foam to make it a bit more sturdy and then I've cut out some little hearts using the Simon Says Stamps hearts die and I also picked out a die from Quick Cuts that cuts out these little tiny tags and on one of them I wrote press me and I'm adding that to the big heart here with a gem and that just helps the recipient know that they get to press that little gem and this bit here I am running some ATG adhesive along the inside sliding my other card blank in the inside and then securing it down and I do this a lot with my shaker cards because sometimes if the front's too heavy the card won't stand up it just falls flat on its face so here we go this is what it looks like with the light switched off it's really fun to play with my four-year-old had a field day and uh, I think it looks really cute thanks so much for watching I hope you had fun and I hope you try out Chibitronics Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video today and um, pop on over to Hungry Happy Crafts for more stuff. Have a great day. Bye.